here we are coming back towards the uh, the airport again. This is the private airport. So uh, it's rather nice. And you can't quite see it, but there's a lovely big plane sat there. A friend of mine's. He is one lucky son of a As you can see as well, even though it is cold, and let me just uh, get to the temperature. The temperature is 8 degrees. Tyres are running nice, so they're up at 3.1, because the heat's made them uh, expand. Uh, consumption, I'm averaging, uh, oh, very bad at the moment. I've been doing too many low gears, but well, I'll hide that one. No, I won't hide it. Riding in fourth a lot and uh, sprinting like I have been, I'm only getting um, 38.1 to the gallon. Uh, she's going to need to be serviced shortly anyway, so that never helps. And uh, I kind of think I need some oil. Actually, let me just check to see what the oil t um, is like. So oil oil level is Ooh. oil level saying it it's gonna need some so I'm gonna find a shell garage because um, I do need fuel anyway so I'm gonna find a shell garage uh, fill up with fuel and get some uh, Advantech at the same time. Um, where I can, I tend to only use uh, Shell. Um, I like their fuel and the oil is recommended by BMW so you can't complain. So I'm going to go right here. just remembered you can't check the oil till it stops until you stop so you can only do you can only do the oil check when you're stationary hmm now just for reference as well if we were um, just cruising along, then I would be averaging probably about 53 to the gallon. Um, I tend not to do uh, any more than that because, uh, well, I wish I could answer that, but I don't. Um, I tend not to go over 53, it's normally 53.1, but for a big bike, I think that's an amazing uh, figure. And when you consider that is with two people, and that is fully laden, with additional luggage, not just normal luggage, but additional luggage, then that is a phenomenal figure to achieve and it's all down to cruise control and being sensible when I'm riding
uh, the big ID facilities to my right. It's just behind those trees, hidden. And then And over to the left, I don't know whether you can see that. That's one of the um, emigrant villages. Where those less fortunate than us have had to flee their own countries and uh, be taken in by a third party. So they get to live in them. And then all caged in. And there's the sun coming down. We've probably got about another 25-30 minutes and then we've got uh, the night sky back in. What I'll do, I'll get the fuel afterwards, we'll go riding into uh, English Tech because I'm hungry. So uh, my stomach wins on that one. Traveling a mite too slow. There are two routes. There's uh, yeah, I'm going to go the fast one. I thought I would. Right. So, in. Oh, I just hit missed the turn. Not to worry. This will be a real quick blast along the also bank, so I'm only going to go one junction, which is my junction, and then, man is it quick. And this is where you push Sam, and she goes very quick. So... Check for where I'm coming in. I'm coming in between these two vans and then coming straight out. And 
that, my friend, is that quick. Bet you didn't know an owl could be a real beast. Well, this one is because it was crossed with the devil. Yeehaw. Now I'm round here, I may as well get my uh, fuel because I've got to drive past it, so I might as well stop and get it then. Then I can also check my oil pressure. We didn't get to test my uh, slow riding skills, did we? So, this is the balance at the moment. We're down at six, five, four. She's still under complete control. Four, four miles an hour. So that's not bad, is it? Four miles an hour and completely in control. I know that she can use uh, E10. But I tend not to. So I go for the Shell V power. Because it's pretty good. So it's an E5. And it's really good. So. I want it about there. Side stand. Let's just quickly check the um, oil pressure, the oil level. I'll put it onto. Yeah. Okay. She's not um, full, so I'm going to have to get some oil to turn her off. And as you can see, it's starting on zero. Now I've gone for the E5 which is the Shell V Power, because I like it. It's a, a 98 run, so um, I'm quite happy with that. I could go for the super fuel, the fuel save, but um, I like the fact that the E5, uh, the racing, uh, the 98 run, um, actually just burns that little bit brighter and harder and hotter. So, I'm not going to fill her up completely. So, to that level anyway. So you can see, 39, 34 euros. I'll be right back.